Mainstream millionaire BBC and Sky socialist comedians are often a good barometer of the current machinations and self-deceit of the hard left. A few days ago, in a segment from his polemical Sky show, which has received over half a million views on YouTube, UK comedian Russell Howard chose to gaslight his viewers with the extraordinary assertion that there is no culture war, that it simply doesn't exist. According to Howard, there is no cultural conflict between social groups in the West immersed in a struggle for dominance of their values, beliefs and practices. Every workplace and institution in the UK definitely hasn't been poisoned, disrupted and damaged over recent years by equality and diversity grifters getting paid fat salaries to tell offices, schools and warehouses full of confused people that they're all incredibly racist and sexist, creating a universal atmosphere of mistrust, a reluctance to communicate, hampering productivity, dehumanising us all, damaging our economy, the fabric of our society, our interpersonal relationships, our mental health and our quality of life. People who voted for Brexit, people who didn't agree with lockdown, people who didn't trust the Covid jab definitely haven't been demonised, bullied and humiliated for being on what the hard left perceived to be the wrong side of the argument. Decent hard-working people certainly aren't having their livelihoods threatened by autistic white student Just Stop Oil protesters blocking the motorways every day, preventing them from getting to work. Individuals who aren't prepared to deny reality and let go of the facts of what constitutes biological womanhood in order to appease a rabid community of trans rights activists definitely haven't been smeared, discredited, professionally ruined and relentlessly threatened and bullied every time they call for the protection of women's public spaces. Our national sport, football, certainly hasn't been commandeered by BLM and the LGBTQ activists to aggressively push their divisive agenda and line their own pockets with siphoned off charitable donations. Police forces across the UK certainly haven't spent the past five years trapped in a woke stranglehold, devoting considerable resources to trying to restrict and censor the language people use online in the name of tackling hate speech, which we all know simply means the expression of any opinion the hard left don't agree with. None of what we know to have happened over the past 10 years actually happened, even though it's all been documented in considerable detail across various forms of media. None of the reality you've experienced over the past decade is in fact true. Truth is lies, fact is fiction, because Russell Howard said so, and we should probably trust him because he's on TV. Just as the left tried to sell us all the pretense that cancel culture is a myth in order to extricate themselves from moral examination for all the lives that they've ruined for committing the terrible crime of not sharing their worldview. They now also deny the existence of a culture war because they find themselves to be on the losing side. But the tide has turned. People won't stand for the equality diversity grift anymore. They won't be labelled racist and sexist and transphobic and told to feel shame for the colonial crimes of their ancestors. The game is up and in the midst of defeat, the left whether it be comedians, academics, politicians, activists, cannot stop lying through their teeth. Even as their ideological foundations crumble at their feet, they can't accept the disgusting behaviour that they've spent the past five to ten years indulging themselves in. With Twitter under new ownership, we're starting to see the lies and corruption of these Marxists unravel. With the release of damning information about the suppression of the Hunter Biden laptop story, which again the corrupt mainstream media are flagrantly brushing under the carpet. By all means, let these leftists abandon the culture war that they started, now that they're being exposed for the liars and crooks that they are but at least let them have the personal integrity to face the reality of it, accept their culpability, question their moral compass, and when they find some truth, try to overcome their overwhelming collective narcissism and come up with some sort of apology. It's the least they could do. Please do like and subscribe and support my comedy by following the link below this video.